The word we are learning today is 未来, which means future. It's basically the time that comes after right now, you know, the future. And you can toss it into conversations when you are talking about upcoming events, plans, or expectations. For example, if you hear someone say, 未来几天可能会下雨, they are just saying, it might rain in the next few days. And here's a cool one. 未来是属于年轻人的, the future belongs to the youth. And it really does. Nowadays, young folks are more connected globally than ever before, thanks to the internet, social media, and international educational opportunities. Now, when we talk about relations among countries, we could say, for instance, 中美关系未来在青年, the future of China-US relations lies in the youth. When young people from China and the US engage in exchanges and study in each other's countries, they immerse themselves in diverse cultures. This experience gives them a more global perspective when they are addressing issues. It empowers them to gain a rational understanding of principles that underscore mutual respect, peaceful coexistence, and win-win cooperations. Thus, we could say, 未来是属于年轻人的,中美关系的未来在青年. The future belongs to the youth. And international relations, like bilateral relations between China and the U.S., also lie in the youth. 未来, future, 你学会了吗?